Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured we'd talk about something a little more music theory related and talk about what makes some notes work together harmonically, whereas others don't work together as well. Okay, so first let's talk about wavelength and frequency and pitch really quickly. So if you've seen my previous videos, this image here might be kind of familiar. It's part of a handout that's actually available to my Patreon patrons as a download. And this handout just kind of visually shows us how sample rate, bit depth, wavelength, all those things kind of work together to affect the sound. And so you can see here lambda, that's the symbol for wavelength. So this is showing us one cycle. So that's the wavelength for this, this sine wave right here. And so basically the frequency, which is repetitions per second, is gonna be determined by the wavelength, lambda, right? Because the speed of sound is fairly constant. So when you have something going at a constant speed, the wavelength is gonna determine how often it's repeated. So the longer the wavelength that we have, the lower the frequency of the sound, which correlates to low pitch. That's how we perceive it as humans, right? So low frequency is perceived as low pitch to human beings. So on the other end, the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency, which is perceived as high pitch, right? So this is a shorter wavelength, right? You can see that this distance here is shorter than the previous one down here. So this is gonna be perceived as a higher pitch, a higher frequency. So it's gonna be like a higher note on the piano, whereas this one down here would have been a lower note on the piano. So basically when we talk about things that are harmonic with each other, we look at how something like this note is going to combine with something like this note. And so when we look at how they combine, we can kind of visualize this by just overlaying them over each other. So I can just draw that for us really quickly here. You guys will have to forgive my drawing skills, it's gonna be pretty bad. But if we draw something that looks like a sine wave here, its wavelength's gonna be from here to here, right? Because then it would repeat the signal and continue. So that's gonna be one wavelength. And let's say this is the longer wavelength that we have, okay? So that's the lower pitch, the lower note on the piano, for example. So if we then take another, let's make this a different color. So if we were then to combine it with a different note that is going to be a higher frequency, a higher pitch on the piano. So if we draw another note and we start at the same point and we make it so that it has a frequency that's twice as fast, so it's completing one cycle when this is exactly at its half point mark. We'll just pretend that this is the half point mark here. So it's completing two cycles in the exact amount of time that this one takes to complete one. So that's gonna be more likely to be harmonic with this note. These notes are more likely to be harmonic with each other than if I were to pick a random wavelength. So if I were to draw one that has kind of a random wavelength, so it's not a multiple of these two, then it's not gonna be as harmonic as a note that would fit easily within this cycle structure. So basically, the basic way to look at it is, for example, if you look at the frequency of this black one first, if that is you know, a given number of hertz, let's say it's 220 hertz, let's say this one is then 440 hertz, right? Because it's gonna be twice as fast, so it's gonna have double the frequency. So then these two are gonna work together well harmonically, and that's because their ratio, their frequency ratio, can be described using a really simple ratio. So it's just a two to one ratio. So things like two to one ratios, things like three to one ratios, four to one ratios, those are gonna work really well harmonically together. So you can actually look at the frequency of a note to determine how well it's gonna work harmonically with any other note. Once you get into more complex ones, right, like maybe 1.5 to one, those might not work as well harmonically together as something that's like two to one, for example. And then as you go into more and more complex ratios between the frequencies, they're gonna be more and more dissonant together, right? They're not gonna be, they're not gonna work as well harmonically. So yeah, that's basically it. If you look at the actual wavelength for a given note, for a given pitch, for a given frequency, you can actually determine what type of notes are gonna be more likely to work well harmonically with it compared to others. And it's all just simple math. You know, you just look for simpler ratios. Simpler ratios are gonna sound more harmonic with each other, whereas more complex ratios are gonna tend to be more dissonant. And that's just the basic concept behind harmonic theory. And you know, I use 440 hertz as an example because that's actually an A, you know, on our piano. It's an A in Western musical notation. So, you know, the more you become familiar with thinking about, you know, frequency and pitch being correlated and thinking about this kind of mathematical relationship between notes and their frequencies and between each other, then you might actually start to learn and memorize some of the frequencies that are correlated to our notes on our musical scale.
So yeah, that's about it for today. I hope you guys found some of this useful. I just wanted to do a really quick video on the basics of harmonic theory, get a little bit more music theory in there. So let me know what you think of these music theory style videos. Um, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. As usual, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos. If you wanna be notified when I come out with a new video, please hit that little notification bell. And if you wanna support my channel more directly, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash Noise. And I have a bunch of content like this that's available to my Patreon patrons. So if you want access to this handout and a bunch of other material too, then please check out my Patreon page. So yeah, I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay.